How long does your website take to load? How do you know the answer to that question? Well, it requires measuring your website's speed. And that's what I want to focus on in this video today. And in this video, I want to talk about how you use Google's PageSpeed Insights tool to understand your website's speed and performance. You can access PageSpeed Insights at developers.google.com slash speed slash page speed slash insights. Or since that URL is pretty hard to type in and remember, you can also just go to Google and type in PageSpeed Insights and find the tool. Once you're there, you can put in a website's address and you can analyze it to understand both the lab data and the field data. And I'll talk about what the difference is between lab data and field data and how we can use both of those to understand our speed and performance. In this example, I'm gonna focus on amazon.com. Once you plug this in, you're going to get the PageSpeed Insights report. Starting at the top of the report, we have the performance score. And note that this is by device. You can switch from mobile to desktop. In this case, we happen to be looking at Amazon's mobile performance score, which is 45. And you can see in the chart below that anything from 0 to 49 is red or considered bad. 50 to 89 is medium and considered okay. And then 90 to 100 is considered good. So in Amazon's case, their performance score on mobile is poor. Right below that, we have the field data. Now, field data shows you information about real users interacting with your website as measured by Google over the last 28 days. Typically, field data is only available for larger websites, so if you have a smaller website with less traffic, you may not have any field data show up when you run your page through PageSpeed Insights. Within field data, we can see various metrics, including the first content full paint, the first input delay, and the largest content full paint. Note that first input delay and largest content full paint are core web vitals, or metrics that Google is actually going to factor into search rankings. Below the field data, we have the lab data. The lab data is the information Google has just processed as you clicked Analyze on this website. So this is stuff that was calculated in real time for you. Within lab data, you can get a variety of metrics, including the largest content full paint, and the total blocking time. The total blocking time I'm calling out because that one is a good proxy for first input delay, and first input delay is a core web vital. So within the lab data, you can understand at least an idea of what the first input delay might look like by using the total blocking time. The other thing that you can get within lab data is a film strip view to see how quickly your website loads. Below this, you have opportunities, and these are suggestions that Google is offering of different ways that you may be able to improve your website's speed. The one thing that I really want to emphasize here is just because Google is recommending that this is a thing you can do to improve your website speed doesn't mean that you have to improve your speed in this way in order to appear in Google. All Google cares about from a ranking perspective, from an SEO perspective, is that your website loads quickly. So if you're able to load your website quickly by doing something else, great. If you're able to use some of these suggestions to make your website load faster, that's great too. As I mentioned, you can view PageSpeed Insights reports either from mobile or desktop. By default, it will go to mobile, but there is a toggle at the top of the screen that allows you to flip from mobile to desktop. And you can view the same metrics that we've just gone through for mobile or for desktop for the page that you plugged in and analyzed. Now, connected with PageSpeed Insights is Google Search Console. Google Search Console is a free tool that gives you all kinds of information about your website's performance, including information about those core web vitals. When you go to google.com slash webmasters and open up your website in there, you can click on Core Web Vitals in the sidebar. When you do, you'll be taken to the Core Web Vitals dashboard, and this tells you how your pages have been trending over time in terms of those Core Web Vital metrics. You can see how many are good, how many are bad, how many are kind of okay in that yellow area. For details, you can click Open Report. When you open the report, you can see a trend line specifically for poor, needs improvement, and good pages on your website. Below the graph, though, you can see the detailed information about what's bad, what's actually happening here. In this case, the largest content full paint is longer than four seconds on 310 pages on our website. That's a lot of pages that are taking a long time to load on mobile devices. For any of those items listed in the details table, you can click on it to be taken to a list of example URLs. You can then click on an example URL to see more URLs like that that have the same problem. 
Within each of these, you can click on PageSpeed Insights to then see the PageSpeed Insights reports for that specific URL. If you have any questions about PageSpeed Insights, your website speed, or anything else going on with your website or your SEO, please let me know. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you found it educational and enjoyable, please subscribe for more videos like this. Thanks.